Hey, welcome to this video. If you arrived here, you're probably searching for a review of Test.io. So go over how it works, give you my two cents, whether I think it's a good use of your time. And if you like my free training on the number one simplest, fastest way to earn a full-time income from home, you can click the link below. You'll see my email opt-in page. Enter your best email. I could send you my free training if you want. Test.io, let's dive in. So what it is, basically, it's a crowdsourcing website um, that allow you to earn money by finding bugs and usability issues with websites, apps, and software. Uh, they've been around since 2011. They have over 40 offices worldwide. And some of their clients include, um, well, if I scroll down, you can see, so SoundCloud, you know, BuzzFeed, you might've heard of those. Um, Eat Street was another one. And so, and they have a decent reputation um, among their workers which is important. They have uh, 4.4 stars on Glassdoor, 3.8 stars on Trustpilot. So if you're wondering, is Test.io legit? Yes, they're a legit company. They do pay out. Um, you'll notice their homepage, which I'm on right now, it's really geared towards um, the, these companies, right, who are looking to get QA testing services. But as someone, someone who's looking to earn money, which I'm assuming you're here for, what you'll want to do is go to become a tester. So click there, arrive at this page. And um, they mentioned some of the benefits like, you know, being able to work from anywhere um, and, uh, you know, earn some side money. So they're say not saying you're going to earn a full-time income at this. Um, very, I mean, not really real realistic um, because that's not what these websites are designed for. So, um, but you could potentially earn an extra, you know, maybe you know, a couple hundred dollars a month, uh, depending on how hard you go at this and um, what kind of devices you have. That's that's pretty important and what languages you speak. So, um, but um, you would, uh, you know, test the latest apps um, and um, uh, you, so if you're interested in technology, maybe you're a techie, uh, you like to stay up to date on the newest apps, you know, that might be a reason to do it. So expand your skill set, uh, sharpen your skills. So maybe you're someone who builds, um, you know, websites, apps, or software, you know, as your main profession. Then, um, you know, being a tester, or you want to get into that field, then being a tester could help you become a better developer, right? By exposing you to good design and, and you know, teaching you what to avoid and so on. Um, now, the frequently asked questions section down here, uh, it's quite insightful, so uh, we'll go over that. Um, you get at least uh, five, so you get at least five opportunities a day. Most testers, they say, five tests a day, um, opportunities to test. So that's quite vague. Does that mean you'll get five tests? I don't know. So, but um, and you can you can choose to accept or decline uh, tests, which is nice. You're not you're not forced to take a test that you don't want to take. Um, you could um, now at the very least, as far as a, equipment, um, you'll need a PC at the very least. And if you have a mobile phone, like maybe or device, like maybe an iOS or an Android, uh, that would be helpful. Just more opportunity. Um, and you can get paid via PayPal, bank account or Skrill. So they have several options and they pay out on, once a month. Uh, now, how much could you earn, though? Right. That's the big question. Well, you get paid by bug, not by time. So not by minute or hour. So the more lucrative bugs pay up to $50, but not every bug is going to pay $50. These would be for the $50 ones would be for things like uh, website, fixing website crashes or, um, you know, I'm trying to think of something else. So um, or, you know, payment issues, something that would cost the company a lot of money, you know, to, and to get it fixed would actually really help them. Um, but most are probably going to pay closer to, you know, a couple of dollars, a few dollars. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, if you are interested in signing up, it's pretty straightforward. You go to become a tester, you'd, um, and you'd, uh, or sign up here, sorry, you'd enter your name, email address, date of birth, and, um, uh, country and then this is what your dashboard will look like so you sign up the next step is this uh this bug reproductions course so uh this is going to take about 30 minutes of your time and then you have to complete an exploratory 
uh, test, which is going to take an additional two hours. So you'd essentially be, essentially be working for free for two and a half hours, um, but you don't have a choice, right? If, if you want to get paid access to paid jobs. So now once you've done all this, um, it's just a matter of playing the waiting game. You'd wait to be invited to paid tests. Um, you could see beforehand what it'll entail, how much it pays, and you can accept or decline it. And there are three types of paid tests. Um, there's so first of all, there's the exploratory tests, which is this is going to train you on. Um, exploratory tests are are um, the, are the simplest. So um, you sort of be given free reign to explore and find bugs. Um, you know, there's really no guide. Now the next is usability tests. These are more of your standard um, QA tests that you would find on other websites like usertesting.com and testing time. Um, and how usability tests work are is you'd be given a guide or a scenario and usually, and it's much more structured. So a set of instructions, and then you provide your feedback on the website or app or software, provide your feedback in the form of either answering a survey or speaking into your microphone like I'm doing now or filming a video or, or a combination of those. So that's the um, so that's the uh, usability tests. And finally, the third is a test test case testing. Um, with test case testing, you'll be provided with different test cases uh, consisting of just steps that you have to go through. You know, do this, do that, go here, do that, and then you record your feedback. And that's kind of test IO in a nutshell. So again, it is a legit website. People are getting paid. Uh, some people have complained, you know, on Trustpilot that if you scroll through the comments that um, th th there's a high rejection rate on here. So in other words, you know, you might find 80, 90 percent of your bugs you're detecting are are being rejected that you're reporting. Um, you know, and, and some of these people feel like their bugs are being rejected unfairly. Um, at least that's from their point of view. Right. There's always two sides to the story. So but. Um, but then other people have been very happy with their experiences on here. So, um, but um, now, even if you were able to report a lot of bugs, um, I don't really see this being a full-time income because most of them aren't going to, you know, pay you $50. Um, you might earn a few dollars here, a few dollars there, uh, you know, pizza money basically. So, but as long as you're okay with that, you can go ahead and you can check out, um, test IO. But look, maybe you're here not necessarily because you want to be earning a few dollars here, a few dollars there. Maybe you want to earn real money, I'm talking 30, 50, $100 an hour and from the comfort of your own home. If that's the case, what I suggest is click the link below. You'll see my email opt-in page. Enter your best email. I could send you my free training that'll detail the simplest and fastest way to earn a full-time income from home that, that I know of at least. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you on the other side of that link and I hope you have a great day. Bye.